Have you been grinding too much jade lately and still have not gotten enough embers or a flame yet? Or maybe you've just had enough of seeing bearded snowmen everywhere? Well, if you have, then let me introduce you to this place called Erythia's Limbo, home of the seventh witch. She's hidden some goodies in her private little room, just waiting for you to plunder. And of course, you do need to have some cookies to give her and several trials to pass before she'll invite you in. Now, these cookies can be found in all the grind spots in the Mountain of Eternal Winter, and you need at least one to gain access to a special place. The first thing you have to do is to right click on the node to go to her housekeeper, Kellos, to get your fabulous dailies. Afterwards, simply knock on her grand illusionary door and you will soon find yourself inside a giant square hall with four equally grand doors on each side and a small brazier in front. One of them has an open book, go to that one and select the difficulty that you wish to challenge. The game actually suggests about 250 AP for easy and 290 AP for the hard mode. And the hard mode of course offers more rewards than easy. From my experience, you should be able to attend hard difficulty with 281 Kutum and about 353 DP, of course depending on your class. My hard mode runs took about 30 to 35 minutes to complete at a nice and easy pace so you should be able to squeeze in at least two runs an hour once you are in your difficulty of choice you'll notice that eight brightly lit crystals for varying colors of the rainbow will appear and four of them will have their symbols lit up be sure to remember these four or maybe take a photo is what i did as these will correlate to the four different trial rooms that you have to attempt in order to pass erythia's trial at the same time you will also notice that the ones dim gray doors now have a specific color and symbol shining before them representing four different rooms that you have to go into now remember those those four colored symbols from before, at least one of them will match one of the symbols that is being shown on the doors right now. Go into the matching door of your choice to begin your journey into a special place. You must at least attempt a trial in every single one of the chosen crystal rooms before the game will allow you to proceed. There are five possible types of trials that may take place once inside a crystal room, and I'll show and explain to you how each one works. All are fairly straightforward, although there is one that is a little bit confusing. Mm, not, sh not sure what happening here this trial is still very very confusing do i go to one of the tie hey no okay Anyway, let's start with the first possible trial, the Tower Defense. Upon entering the appropriate matching room, you will see this message. Defend the Limbo Spire from the Souls of Origin. Here the objective is simple. There are four lit spires scattered around the room, and you must prevent the five lit flames from being snuffed out completely. Not by the regular Ericanthus mobs, but by the special white or albino Ericanthus mobs. These guys will ignore you and go straight for one of the spires. All you need to do in this trial is to keep killing them all before they stuff out all the flames burning in your spires until a certain period of time has passed and you see this message signifying the successful conclusion of the trial. Keep in mind that the more spires that are kept up, the more doors you have to choose from, thereby preventing you from ending up in a situation where none of the doors lit up have the correct crystal sign that you need. Here you will have completed one of the trials in one of the four crystal rooms and now you have to choose the correct door that corresponds to another one of the three crystal symbols that was shown to you earlier on just now. If there are multiple correctly matching doors, go with whichever symbol or color that you like the most. In this case, we'll go with the white colored one. Moving on to the second possible trial, a message telling you to imbue the spire with five souls of origin will appear. Here the goal is fairly simple. All you need to do is to find an albino mob, kill them, upon which a golden floating orb will spawn. You bring that orb to the spire and you'll see that one of the pillars will have a flame lit up. Simply do this 5 times for each spire and you will clear the trial. Do note, only upon fully lighting up one spire will the next spire actually spawn. Once complete, you should see this message telling you to do the same on the next spire. Once you complete 2-3 to three spires, depending on when you encounter this trial, you will see this message telling you to revel in your puny success, upon which you just need to choose the right door once more and proceed on to the next matching crystal room. And of course, the more spires you imbue, the more doors you have to choose from. And up next, our third trial is perhaps the more confusing of the bunch. It will ask you to attack the spires with 5 souls of origin. Here, what it's asking you to do is to get this guy to destroy the spire with its AoE attack and not you. So all you have to do is to keep the mobs occupied until the albino fires his red ball of boom and then enjoy the friendly fire. Oh, and I should point out that each time it hits, one flame will be put out. Simply repeat this 4 more times for the spire, keep in mind not to attack the albino mob and just watch as it friendly fires its people to death. Now, do this for as many spires as you can. Do note that a red mist will rotate between the position of each spire, and when a spire is covered in said red mist, its flame actually can't be put out by the albinos. Once done, you will see this message. 
Simply repeat for the other spires and you will clear this trial. After that, move on to the two remaining crystal doors that you have not went into yet to proceed on with your trial. The fourth trial involves survival amidst some DP debuffs. You will see this message. You temporarily resist the Hex of Frailty and you must resist by using the spires or killing the white albino mobs. Here you'll be under a constant negative 200 DP debuff and an occasional 5 second minus 100 DP debuff as well. These debuffs can be cleansed with either the killing of a white albino mob, thereby granting you a short immunity period, or you can interact, uh, meaning press R with one of the spires to cleanse it. This will consume one flame though. Your goal here is actually to simply just survive a few minutes in this trial while killing the mobs. Upon success, you will see this message. And of course, the more spires left up, the more doors will be available for you to choose from. Moving on to the fifth and the final trial, this message will occur and it will ask you to weaken the mobs with the souls of origin and to defeat as many as you can. Here, the mobs will be slightly tankier and your goal will be to fill up the empty spires with flames with the souls of the mobs you shall soon be slaying. Killing the white albedo mobs will also grant you a pulsating red zone on the floor, debuffing the mobs, thereby speeding up the process. You just need to kill as many as you can and also to charge up as many spires as possible before the timer runs out and each successful spire charged will have this message. The more spires you fill before the timer runs out, the more crystal doors will be available at the conclusion of this trial, thereby granting you a higher chance of having a door of the matching crystal. Once you have completed or attempted a trial in each of the four crystal rooms, this message will then occur and the doors will shine brightly, signaling that you have overcome Erethea's trials and have gained an one-time access to a special place. Doors will shine with invitingly light golden light as Erethea tells you to come into a special place. Simply interact to get into her fabulous special room. Look at all those shinies. Mmm. Yeah, yeah boy. boy. However, uh, disappointment will soon be inbound as you realize that Erethea is actually not in the room. I mean, why would she be there? She's dead, you know. Checkmate, see. Anyway, here interact with the big treasure chest and then whack all the small ones open to get your loot. The small ones have a chance to drop an ember along with the heavenly essences needed to craft the special ignore resistance Oluka's crystals. And if you open your inventory and open up the gift that Erythea has bestowed upon you, you get several more rewards. I also noticed that you almost always get an ember in that particular gift box along with 200 armor and black stones around there and about 50 plus cavers combined and some heavenly essences and crystals if you're lucky. If you're squeezing about 2 runs per hour, you can probably get about 2 to 4 plus embers along with 100 plus cavers at the minimum. There is a trash loot here, uh, it's about 23k per piece, but they don't drop all that frequently or that much to be honest. So it won't really be much of a source of an income for you. And once you're done, simply approach the door with a glowing white thingy to exit and complete your run. A few minor things I'd like to point out. Even if you do say fail to complete the trial or in the event that you do not see the matching crystal door, uh, don't panic. Just go into any of the nearby non-matching doors and you just complete the trial there. Doing so will grant you another set of options, in this case doors to choose from. And from there you can proceed on as normal. It doesn't really mean anything when you don't complete the trial or fail to complete it. It just means that you have to go through one extra trial trial before you can reach Erythea's special place. The mobs also actually don't hit that hard as well, but there are occasional attacks that do a significant bit of damage out of nowhere. There's a lot more mobs for this one. Oh, oh boy, oh damn, that was, that was a hard attack. What, what just hit me? And for Corsairs, our authors actually can draw the aggro uh, this time around, and they draw the aggro actually quite well, I might add, so be sure to use that to your advantage. And with that, I can now send you guys all off to Erythea's special place. Checkmate Simps. Simps. Checkmate Simps. Be sure to have a cookie ready as the entrance fee, and remember the four crystals that lit up when you appear. Also, be sure to ace the trials so that you get to have more doors to choose from. That way, you can access the right rooms straight away and don't have to do any extra trials. Lastly, make sure to take some photos when you are in so that you can brag to your friends that you got invited to the Erythea's special place. Seems. If you found this video helpful, please do consider dropping a like or a sub or following on Twitch. I stream video on a regular basis and also, I guess, fastball from time to time. Hope to see y'all there and good luck with the RNG boxes. Take care and goodbye. Somebody press the trap! Whoever pressed Kana is cute. You're a lolly. Catch him, catch him.